the result of heat number two. There are the swimmers for heat two. Lucas Sos, Nelly Roulet, Lodi Lorande, the world record holder, Olivia Jablonska, Eleni Papadopoulos, and Teresa Nebes. We did mention her earlier in the top lane there. Another one of these young Hungarians, just 13 years of age. Took bronze medal in the 100 butterfly. Something of a surprise. She was ahead. One of the favourites for that 100 fly gold medal. That was lady who's leading them at the moment, Elodie Lorandi of France. Elodie Lorandi. Such a good record in this event. She's won gold in all the major championships in recent years. Gold in the European Championships in Berlin in 2011. Gold in the Paralympic Games in London in 2012, gold in the World Championships in Montreal in 2013. And that Montreal gold was in a new world record time. Very impressive, 432.79. Ludi Laurenti has not been on great form at these championships. Was not happy with the bronze medal in the 50 freestyle. Well, it was out of the medals in the 100 meters butterfly. This is her main event. One she has trained for, one she has been extremely successful in. She's looking in decent shape so far. We'll come up to halfway. De Laurendi leading her teammate Anneli Roulet, two French swimmers. One and two as they come to halfway. France, of course, with their first gold medal of the championships, Charles Rosois, in the 100 meters butterfly last night. Good performance by the Frenchman. To take that goal. Rudy Lorandi will be hoping to follow up with a second French goal tonight. Daniel Roulet will be hoping to get on the medal podium too for France. It's, apart from Lorandi, there's no real obvious favourites for the minor medals. Lorandi, you would think, was a class act to the field. She should be clear favourite for gold, but the silver and bronze are very much up for grabs. Now, Roulet now being challenged by Olivia Jablonska. Olivia Jablonska won the gold in that 100 metres butterfly a couple of days ago. The 17-year-old, the new European record time. So we know that she is in good form. So 100 to go. Morandi now heads to Polska, who's moved into second position. The 17 year old from Poland, ahead of the 18 year old from France. Morandi looks fairly relaxed though. 334. Just a second ahead of Bianca Papp in the previous heat. Papp finished in 449.10. So we're on the looking somewhere probably around about 447. So looks like Lorandi is going to be fastest into the final here. Olivia Jablonska. Now 
at 0.3 of a second, moving away from Anel Roulet. These three should qualify comfortably for the final. Which will be held this evening. 46 and a half there for Ludi Lorandi. She will qualify for the final in the fastest lane. Olivia Jablonska in second position in that heat will be marginally behind Bianca Pap of Hungary. It was a good qualification. Anel Roulet, she looked like she's working hard there. Congratulated by her teammate Ludi Lorandi. Two French swimmers should be into the final pretty comfortably. Luca Sauce looks like she will also make it under the five minute mark. So, Lady Papadopoulos from Britain just over the five minute mark. We'll see if that's good enough for the final. Lorandi takes that heat. Jablonska. A bit of a puff of the cheeks there for Jablonska. Lorandi looks a lot happier than she did a couple of days ago. It's good stuff. Just easing into the final stages there. She will be faster this evening. There is no doubt about that. Ludia Lorande takes that second heat ahead of Jablonska, ahead of Anela Rule. Into the final this evening, Lorandi will be in the fast lane, Bianca Pap. Next to her, Olivia Jablonska will be third fastest to the final. 